the, um, the program. We're ready to roll it. Uh, you can see the taper is the first operation, followed by the OD cut and chamfer at the end is the second operation, the second tool. First tool is called with a G52 offset. The second tool is the master tool, so there's no offset at all on that. Um, and today I'm going to uh, show you how I bore these things. They've uh, got a board, a taper. The taper goes from uh, 13 millimeters, about 100 millimeters, in from the end, out to. Uh, 30 millimeters at this end. Uh, I had to make this special boring bar here to uh, to be able to do this job. It's got a reach of about 100, a bit over 100 millimeters, so it uh, can reach in and uh, and do this job. Just uh, loading up the uh, blank material. It uh, sticks out well, about six inches from the face of the chuck here. Um, so I have to take very light cuts, you know, half millimeter cuts in this PVC plastic. Uh, first thing I do is uh, run it up and just eyeball it to see if it's running reasonably true. If not, I'll take it out and put it back in until I can get a reasonably eyeball uh, running true. So I'll just turn the spindle on. Got a bit of a bobble there, so I'll just uh, reseat it. Test it again. Worse. Mm -hmm. Keep trying. <coughs> That's pretty good. Well, press cycle start. The way we go. Um, the way I've had to program this is. Um, there's so much dwarf comes out, I've had to put an M0 com command at the end of each uh, cutting stroke so that it gives me ample time to clear the dwarf with a pair of pliers or, or compressed air. It's uh, pretty frightening if you don't do that. I learnt the hard way that you've got to put in an M0 command at the end of each stroke. What I do is I actually a plunge to the full depth and then cut from the inside out which tends to bring the swarf out as you'll see later in the video. It's just going to the uh, position where it all starts. Pretty true now. So I can start and away we go. Cutting a hundred more meters deep. begins the taper at 13 millimeters and each cut is half millimeter depth of cut which this particular cut is 14 millimeters. I've actually opened that bore up to 16 millimeters for some of its length to help with the swarf. Okay, no swarf came out which means I've got to do a manual clear from the other end through the spindle. I first try compressed air if that doesn't work then I get a uh, aluminium rod and shove it up the end and push the, the uh, swarf out that way. Okay, I just 
looked up the end of the spindle, I can see the swirl going. Oh, there it is. It's actually come out with the compressed air. There we go. Ready to go cycle start again after the M0 command. So I uh, repeat this. This cut is at uh, 15 millimeters. It's got to go out to 30 millimeters at the end here. Uh, so I'll just pause this. It's a bit boring. Here comes the swarf out now. It goes to the uh, manual stop. And I can press the cycle start button again and do the next cut. Uh, it takes me about 10 minutes to do each of these parts, but uh, it's the only way to do it. And the swarf congestion button is not quite so bad as the ball gets bigger and the paper is formed. Last up the end gets the swarf out on the front finish cut. Now it's indexing across to do an OD cut. There's a big tape on the end of it. Uh, with a bit of uh, stamper, sorry. manually have to pull the swarf away from this. I've got to take my wits about me, I can tell you. Luckily the swarf tends to fall down in a bunch, which I can pick up and just throw away from the machine onto the floor. This is the last cut, uh, and it does the chamfer on the end. It's a fairly big chamfer, I think it's 5mm by 5mm. Finished cut now, and the job's finished. Put the test card on, make sure it fits. Another one pops out to the production line. Alright. Pull the last of the swarf off clean up to do there and it's, it's the finished product. There's the test flange that's got to go on it. It's glued on later on with PVC glue. So, I think ten of them I've already delivered two earlier prototypes in this order of twelve. There's the um, 
Can you see it down there? If I hold it up to the light, you can see the, the taper and this end here. 